Hello everybody, what is up and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Undertale. In the last episode, we made it through Snowden and we fought Papyrus. And we actually won. And then, we became friends. Now, before I have that date with him, I'm gonna go and heal at the safe point. I don't know why I didn't just take the underground tunnel. I'm kind of stupid. I'll take it to get back. Ugh, excuse me, I just burped. I just had hot dogs and the macaroni and cheese for dinner. Alright, let's save. And let's take... No, I didn't mean to do that. Let's take the tunnel. So that we don't have to walk all that way. Let's see Papyrus. So, you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. The library? <laughs> Turns around. It is the library. No, I'm joking. My house! Cool. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take the responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! Hmm, you mean like a pie? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <gasps> oh no, the dog's eating the bone. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sounds. Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Why, thank you. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, it's my favorite game show says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 Gs. Nice. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Yeah, let's stop. Welcome to my welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? No, not yet. I want to check two things out. A class image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. Bones, bones. Bones, bones, bones. The door is locked. Aww. I wanted to hear witty dialogue about, about Sans. Alright, let's go have our days with Papyrus. Ooh, his room is cooler than I thought. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has designed my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. A computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. There are no skeletons inside my closet. 
Except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, okay. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle constructions for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with F Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from a human from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference to th for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Alright, let's have our date. So, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Yes! Okay, dating start! Dating start. Here we are, on our date! Why does this music remind me of... Dude, this literally sounds like something from off of Ace Attorney. I've actually never done this before. Don't worry. You can't you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great date. A great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wow. Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two. <laughs> I love this. This is hilarious. Crime. Egg. Population. Reel it in. The friggin... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Sure. R really? Wowie! I guess that means... It's time for part three! Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wearing clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Sure. No! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. N no Your dating power. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. This is literally Ace Attorney. The music increased. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. You've never dated before, but okay. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! <laughs> cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it! No, genuine compliment! Here we go! Round three! Fight! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. My hat! My hat! My hat! Yeah! Oh, wait. God dang it, I paused my time. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. That was just literally the first thing I thought to click on. 
It's a present! A present j just for you! Open it, it's inside of his head. Do you know what this is? Of course! Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But, oh, so wrong! It's Linguini! This ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cat! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Eat it! Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ugh! Ugh! No! <laughs> I love how it goes off the <laughs> out of the meter. Human, it's clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot! Human eye. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I... The great papyrus have failed. I feel just the same as I do before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. What? That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human. I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> and so our date ended. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> no, I so wanted to kiss you. I mean, what? Wait, where'd he go? He disappeared. Dang, I still got time left, so I suppose I should just proceed on. Hopefully there's another save point not too long after this area. We'll see. Hopefully nothing bad happens either. Oh, hey. It's the kid. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? <clears throat> I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. How did I know it was going to say that? The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. And it makes you have to go pee. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Um, I'm busy. Okay, have fun. What if I said yes? What? Haven't you seen a guy? Oh, okay. He says the same thing. What if I say yeah? Is it gonna just automatically make me go? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, that really was a shortcut. 
Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansie. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in, a, in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Ah, the old whoopee cushion. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on, seat, on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Um, a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. Iceberg. So, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. I know, that cool dude shirt was awesome. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> wow. Mmm, <clears throat> burger. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. Cap falls off and all the ketchup in the ball pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Ah, how nice. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Pyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. <clears throat> What's up? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Why, yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That was odd. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just a thousand G's. It's just ten thousand G. Um, yeah, sure. Just kidding. Roby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay, then. We're back in Snowden. Okay. Well, let me get back to that save point, and I think I'm going to call it for this episode. Even though it's kind of a shorter episode, I... I really want to get to playing Spider-Man here. And plus, it's already almost 2 p.m. And I don't really want to keep recording past 3. Since it's already so late. Ah, the ice blocks that that one dog keeps throwing in. Was it a dog? I can't remember. Alright. Yep, the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Alright, save. Alright, next time. We will proceed on and maybe run into Papyrus's tutor or whatever. The person he admires, Undyne, that everybody keeps talking about. See you guys then. Bye.